And with that, we have this level. Okay, so this isn't necessarily a Dreamcast game that this level comes from. But it's close enough. Here's a hint. I'm gonna be using the su real superpower of teamwork in this level. Okay, so for those who are still stumped, this is um, Seaside Hill from Sonic Heroes. We're Sonic Heroes! And this is my favorite version of the song, even though you don't get to hear it for the first 10 minutes or first 30 seconds because you're underwater. Not cool. Not cool at all. There we go. Oh, that's right, I have a level to play. I completely forgot. I can't go... Up. Yeah, this is the underwater level with the game. Um, of course, unlike the classic games, though, you're not spending your entire time underwater. There is a good portion of the level that's above ground. As a matter of fact, you can spend the entire level above ground. And I think that's how all water levels should be like. I don't know, that's just me. Okay, so time your jump. <sighs> Not like that. Don't time your jump like that. <sighs> oh god. This is a disaster. No. Got him. There. Okay. Can I make the next jump? Yep. There, now I get the best pathway. And a red ring. Red star ring. Invincibility, I could have used that earlier. So I couldn't get home by spikes. In this part of the level, you're pretty much free to use the spin dash jump as much as you like. Because it'll just lead you into the cannon. There's no way you can jump over the cannon. I mean, if you do, wow. That's really unfortunate. Nope! <sighs> Damn it. What, what the hell? Okay, there we go. Oh god. Oh, missed opportunity for the lose. Oh well, I'm at the end of the level anyways. Oh well, yeah, the level ends with a boulder chase. Just like from the level that it originally came from. Now, if you take the innermost center of those three loops, you get the red star ring. But you have to be very quick about it. Let's go through with Sonic Speed! We have to take out all those Eggman's robots. Okay, I'm gonna stop making Sonic Heroes quotes. Sonic's heroes, really? Grammar Fails, Sonic Heroes, Angel Island Zone, Artwork, more artwork, awesome. Alright, so now we're ready for Act 2 with Modern Sonic. 
No, I don't want to see the stupid tutorial. Yeah, now they want to show us the tutorial for wall jumps, even though we've been using it for every level up until now. Oh, what? Start over. We're starting over. I, I don't know what the hell just happened there. For some reason, there. Um, this le this song soundtrack, not really that much remixed. It just combines the the songs from both acts of the level. So yeah, and I like it, but I do like. Classic Sonics a little bit more. I missed that. I forgot I was supposed to spin dash or um, homing attack into that ring. That doesn't matter. So much detail that went into the levels. Like, I mean, earlier before we just saw those nice little dolphins, like, like um, they jumped out, jumped around like that. It looked really cool. And just look at the design of the whole place. And of course, when we get to rooftop run later on, you know, there was definitely a lot of work that went into the level design of this game. And I really have, and I really appreciate that. Ooh, we got the race car. Oh, hells yes. Wait a minute, why does Sonic need a car? Huh. Doesn't matter, it's epic. Look at this. Look at Sonic, he's like disobeying all the road rules. All the rules of the road. Speed limits? Fuck the police. I don't give a shit, I'm gonna go speeding anyways. I miss a red star ring. See, kids? Sonic does teach us lessons. If you go too fast, you're gonna crash your car. So you can't say that Sonic encourages you to go speeding on the road, because he doesn't. He shows you from personal experience that speeding will actually cause the car to crash. So next time some fascist from, I don't know, uh, what's it called, something media, I forgot what it was called, it's a bunch of fascists who hate video games, uh, common sense media, yeah, those douchebags, you can just shove this in their face next time they try to diss video games. Rambling for the win. So I think we've pieced together more of what's happening, and it's not good. Whoa. When that thing goes through time, it tears space apart, leaving the areas empty and dead, and sticking them in this weird white limbo. When the Sonics accelerate through time, they fix space, returning color and life. 
How? Then I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. What was the point of that line? That was so redundant. We have to run like there's no tomorrow, or else there won't be a tomorrow. Well, no shit, you just said that the first time. It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard, Sonic. Hmm. Be wary, Sonic. I sense a great darkness in the game. Actually, I like uh, Espio's new voice. It sounds really awesome. Challenge at gate. Have it here. More artwork. Ugh. 